Hey guys, it's Mario from PilotEffect.com. V-Tails. Now the best way to approach this, I think, is to compare a traditional tail airplane to one with a V-Tail. Traditional tail setup is a horizontal stabilizer with elevator and vertical stabilizer with rudder. In a V-Tail, there are the stabilizers with rudder vaders. Let's start with pitching. Let's pitch the airplane nose up. Traditional tail. The elevator moves up, resulting in a downforce. The airplane pitches up. Now in the V-Tail, the rudder vaders deflect upward, giving us forces like so. However, the resultant force is downward. Thus, the airplane pitches up. Whoa, resultant force? What does that even mean? Well, let me try to kind of explain. A resultant force, or net force, is the total vector sum of all the forces on a body, which is basically the adding or addition of the forces. So add this force to this force, we get the resultant force. And as before, the airplane pitches up. Okay, now yaw. Let's yaw the airplane to the right. Starting again with the traditional tail, rudder moves right, we get a force like so, the airplane yaws to the right. Now onto the V-tail. The right rudder vader goes downward and the left one goes upward. We get these forces and the resultant force ends up like so. And the airplane yaws to the right. Okay, so now how about combined pitch and yaw? Let's pitch up and yaw to the right. Traditional tail. Elevator moves up, giving us this force. Rudder goes right, and then there's that force. And the resultant force is like so. And the airplane pitches up and yaws to the right. The V-tail. The right rudder vader stays pretty much neutral. And the left rudder vader moves upward, giving us this force. And so the airplane pitches up and yaws to the right. So that's a basic introduction to the V-tail. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.